Hi and welcome to my channel. Um, today we're going to talk about power supplies and chargers. And um, specifically we're going to talk about this Latour um, 500 watt 24 volt power supply. Um, when I started with uh, charging Lippos I was using um, just a very very simple um, you know, power supply that I modified and just cut off the end here and, and put a, you know, XD60 plug on. And this worked great, but this is only about a 50 watt power supply. And uh, so I knew eventually I'd want to grow into something a little bit more powerful because this is, uh, this is the ISDT Q6 Plus 300 watt 14 amp charger. Um, and so using, using a 50 watt power supply is not really the way I want to go. Um, so I started looking around and power supplies are expensive. Good power supplies are, um, they cost a lot of money. Um, and I was looking at the electronic shops and there were about a hundred bucks out there. I was looking, you know, in amateur radio magazines and they were, Oh man, those power supplies, hundreds, hundreds of dollars for, for good ones. And uh, thought about modifying a PC power supply. Um, but that, that really looked very unappealing because of all the extra hanging wires. And those PC power supplies, you really don't get a whole lot of um, high voltage. Well, you get a 12 volt rail, but it doesn't produce that much and you've got all these extra leads hanging out. So that was not appealing. Um, so what I finally found was something for LED lighting. This is a uh, 24 volt, 500 watt power supply that I found on Amazon. It's you know, Latour, I've never heard of them. They're, this is made in China. It's not a very expensive power supply. It's like $37, $38 on Amazon. Um, and it's uh, 20 amp. Um, now it, it claims to to have some certification, and this makes it a little bit better than than some of the other ones I see. Ideally, you want UL listing, um, but it's got it's got CE, which is the European um, UL. Hopefully, hopefully this is a real CE and not just a fake China export. Uh, marking. Now, apparently the China export is it's closer together. The C and the E are closer together, um, and I really didn't didn't know that they were faking it. But apparently, some of these Chinese manufacturers will fake the C E logo. So hopefully, this is this is a real one. Um, I did see that they had a uh, FCC certification online that that they had. It would have been nice to see this one online too, because the FCC is kind of it's kind of BS because it's really just emissions and the only person who's really going to care about that is amateur radio um, interfering with their transmissions I guess maybe um, it's also got, says it's got rows so maybe it, it actually did through go through the certification and this has got some safety stuff um, it's it claims uh, over voltage protection and uh, um, some other safety features I, f I forget the other ones um, so it looked, also it's, the review said it was pretty quiet, and at least at idle, it's pretty quiet. I haven't had time to really stress test it, but um, it seems to be, you know, it, under low, low load, it's almost, it's, it's very quiet. Um, it'd be fun to take it up to, you know, obviously my, my, my charger here, the fan on this guy is, is louder than, than this, but then... I've only been able to pull, you know, 50 or 60 watts out of this guy. It was a tenth of what he's what he's used to. Uh, the other nice thing about this charger is it's got, I don't know if you can see this. It's got, it's got the inputs for the line, um, line neutral and ground, but it's also got three um, 
DC outputs, V, v minus and V plus. So I could actually hook up three different chargers here. So if I didn't want to do parallel charging, um, I could do, I could hook up three, uh, say 150 watt lipo chargers to this thing and I would be fine. Um, so that's kind of cool. Um, the other thing that I wanted to talk about was um, voltage transients. And I was a little concerned about this because this is not this is not a a super uh, well known or well reviewed mm, power supply. And I, I don't want to call it cheap, but you know it, it is kind of. Um, I didn't want to pay a lot for it. I didn't really care uh, if it was super high quality. I just wanted to charge batteries. Um, and so I did some I did some basic transient analysis on this and what I mean is I didn't want to fry my charger when I powered it up and so the, I did two tests. I The first test was um, to have everything plugged in and by that means I mean plug up the uh, the charger to the power supply and then plug, plug the charger the power supply. This power supply does not have an on-off switch. You um, you have to wire it up with a cord similar to, to how I have here and uh, then plug the cord in to the wall. And I would I would recommend based on my testing I would recommend plugging it plugging it all up and then plugging it up to the wall last. And then the second way to do it is to uh, plug it into the wall and then plug the charger in. And what will happen is there will be a, a transient um, when, the, um, when it first sees a load. When the power supply first sees a load, it will droop a little or spike and, and probably do both. It will under and overshoot. Um, and so with this it should have over voltage protection so it should protect your equipment from too much of a spike and uh, I, I took a graph and I'll show it later and it actually does a pretty good job of that um, I only tested it um, I think once because I didn't really want to to spike my um, charger here but uh, so what I would do is the other thing I did so the first test where I plugged it in the wall, that was by far, that was a nice linear ramp up of the voltage um, until it hit like um, 24 volts. Um, and then when I unplugged it, you could see it took a full 10 seconds for the voltage level, for the caps to discharge in this thing. So what I would recommend is that you don't unplug and then plug it in real quick because that, that could cause problems. Um, with the caps half discharged and then plugging it back in again, I'm not quite sure what would happen. So I, I don't recommend doing that. So if you're gonna turn if you're gonna turn a power supply off, leave it off for at least 10 seconds and then plug it back in if you need to plug it back in again. Um, so let me show you. Let me let's cut to those graphs and you can see the graphs. Here's the first one. The first one will be um, when I plug in everything. I'm not. It's, I don't put any batteries in the parallel board. I just have this um, smart charger on, and uh, then I plug it in the wall, and you can see the voltage um, ramping up nice and smooth. Okay, and here's the uh, second graph where I plug in the power supply first and then I plug in the charger and you can see that there's a little blip um, it, it only it's less than one volt it looks like on here um, but like I said I, I didn't repeat this many times because I didn't wanna um, I didn't wanna get too much transients on my uh, charger here Okay, and so I would rate this 
Um, I'd rate this a pretty good buy, um, value buy. Like I said, it's not a, a tremendously expensive piece of kit. I don't know how um, long it's going to last, but it's going to be fairly lightly loaded. Um, it's not going to, I can't pull more than 300 watts out of it. It's, so it's got plenty of overhead there. Um, and in fact, if I actually wanted to plug, if I wanted to put another uh, charger attached to it and do, say, um, some 2S charging as well as 4S charging, that would probably be fine, although the, the fan would probably almost certainly ramp up um, doing that. Oh, and the other, the other thing I wanted to talk about real quick is the fact that I chose a 24-volt power supply as opposed to a 12-volt power supply. Now, I could have gotten a 300-watt... Um, 12 volt power supply and it would have done would have done okay but based on what I have read um, it's much easier for for this charger to step down the voltage than it is to to step it up it's more efficient so I'm I'm actually doing a little bit better these batteries are um, the bigger batteries are going to be more than 12 volts and so you're gonna have to um, it would have to step up the um, the voltage and like I said from what I've read it's it's less efficient so so anyway um, I hope this helps you you know learn something about about the Latour like I said if I have any problems with it I'll post comments um, so far it seems to be I seem to be pretty happy with it um, I'm glad it's got some certification, or at least it it says it has certification. I have to hopefully believe them. Um, and uh, you know, like I said, it's been people have said it's quiet. It is it is quiet. I might post a, a little video um, showing it at idle, but that's really not going to show you the full picture. I really need to load it, you know, down to about 100 or 200 or 300 watts before the fans are probably going to kick in. Um, so anyway, um, like my video, um, give me comments, say what you don't like about it, say, uh, um, you know, what else you want me to do videos about, uh, and, uh, hopefully you're out there flying. All right.